Well hello all you archery maniacs out there. I've got a new crossbow for you from Bear Archery. And while Bear may have been a little bit late to this crossbow dance, it comes back fashionably late with its new Bruiser FFL crossbow. A couple of things that are very significant on this crossbow. Number one, Bear put its own engineers up to the task of creating its own technology. Now we've seen this before and it, uh, it looks just like the reverse draw technology that uh, are offered by a couple of companies. Bear calls its technology FFL, but regardless of the name, it functions the same way. What it does is provide you with a, with a good sized 14 inch power stroke that provides speed and power to the arrow, yet it accomplishes that by not lengthening the crossbow anymore. This crossbow is 34 inches and in change, which puts it right near the average. A couple of other features that are very significant. Number one, you can see that this whole thing, especially the stock, is skeletonized. What this does is allow strength and rigidity, but not at the cost of weight. It drops some pounds, it's on a diet. Uh, even down to its forend that's been skeletonized, this encourages you to put your fingers and thumb through that rather than up on the flight deck. But if that doesn't work, it does have these safety wings that are also skeletonized. More importantly than that probably though, this thing is just easy to grip. It's got multiple grip points. One of my biggest complaints about crossbows is that they are uh, cumbersome, fairly unwieldy in the woods, and they're heavy with all the accoutrements on them. This one gives you multiple grip points. Namely, one of its very innovative features is this stirrup. You can see that it has one side cut out, so of course it performs its primary job of anchoring to cock the crossbow, but you can also use it to hang it anywhere on a tree limb. Very handy there. Uh, very notable on this crossbow is that it's only 125 pound draw weight. That's less than average, meaning uh, kids and smaller stature people using the provided pull cocker are going to be able to draw this crossbow, yet it doesn't sacrifice performance. Using its aggressive cams, uh, these limbs, this technology, it still produced 335 feet per second on my chronograph. Another thing that Bear likes to tout is its uh, Power V system. While the, the Power V also lends it a uh, unique look, it's important because these are, are metal support beams that provide uh, rigidity to the riser. And most crossbows, all this stored energy is stacked right on this riser. Sometimes they can flex and bend. Not so with the Bear. Uh, I think that it was key in allowing me to produce 1.2 inch groups at 30 yards and that was in the wind so I believe I could even do better. That's notable. Uh, the crossbow comes with all kinds of uh, features, innovations. It's very quiet. It comes with the uh, quiver, three arrows, a uh, pull cocker, all of this for $599. Also, I forgot to mention, it has an adjustable trigger. You just dial that for the pound weight. Now, I don't know what freak out there would want a higher pound weight trigger but at least that person has options. Me, I'll take the lower weight and be just fine with it. Thanks. All of this, $599, great bargain. Notice how quiet it is also. It registered 96 decibels on my informal sound meter. For Inside Archery, I'm Jeff Johnston. Happy hunting.